Just now we understood about the public health services. Now let us study about the private health services. Private health services are again a chain of clinics, hospitals, nursing homes, registered medical practitioners, doctors, labs where x-rays and ultrasounds are done. So, all these collective are called as the private health services. Now, the question is why are they called as private health services? For the simple reason that these are not owned by the government but by private individuals. That is why they are called as private health services. Unlike the public health services, the money which has to be spent here is quite high. That is people have to spend lots of money if they have to take the services of the private health services. Here we also see that lots of people or lots of companies who were earlier making medicines have started with their own hospitals. So, there is a lot of advancement as far as technology, infrastructure or the doctors medicines are concerned and we can see it at every nook and corner of the urban areas. That was about the private health services. But the next important question is, is it adequate in India? That is, are the health services proper in India, sufficient in India for everybody? The big answer is N-O, no. Because most of the services are privately owned and the government has not done much. Besides, most of the facilities are available in the urban India and not in the rural India. And the expenses are very high. The simple process by which the doctors can actually cure a person is not used, but a complex method is employed. The medicines which are given are very high and expensive. The tests are prescribed which are actually not required. All this means that it is a very expensive affair in India. 40% of the people in India find it difficult to get proper health services in India. And the poor people for them it is like a double edged sword because First of all, it is very expensive, it is beyond their reach and secondly, they again and again fall sick because they are undernourished, they do not have proper drinking water, they do not get adequate to eat well and when the money is so high, that is when the expenses are so high, the people or the Persons who get the most neglected in the family are the women because the women's health is not given as much importance as it should be in India. Therefore, the women are at a disadvantage because the expenses are high and even the tribals do not get proper health services because they are not made available to them. Therefore, the system of health services in India is rather very, very poor. But it is the duty of the government to provide proper health services and specially to those who cannot afford it, who are undernourished, who are underprivileged. And according to the constitution of India, there is right to life. And under it, it is the duty of the government to provide proper health services. But we shall look into detail by giving two good examples in the next clipping.